that, Stan? Well, the Picktown community is a community that has experienced a lot of change, and crime is slightly up there. The police commissioner has made it very clear that better police and community relationships are key to fighting crime. And the drug dealing just seems to go on and on and on. Community members at a public safety meeting in Picktown voiced concerns about increased crime in their neighborhoods, right. specifically prosecution um, and drugs. And they'll come down there and they'll do deals early in the morning, heroin deals, all that. And I hate it. It gets under my skin. I can't stand it. Overall, crime is up in Pigtown, where police are investigating three homicides this year. So we just have to stay on top of it. Commissioner Kevin Davis assured community members that the department is working on improved crime enforcement techniques in Pigtown and all over the city. And that includes solving crimes and getting criminals off the street. Police are investigating more than 300 murders this year, but the homicide clearance rate is at just 31 percent. Down from more than 50% in April. There's so many ingredients that, that serve to define the homicide clearance rate. We'll be at a better place. 2015 is an anomaly. So I think you'll, you'll see successes uh, over time. So the statistics will catch up with the successes. The su successes are steady, uh, they're there, they're tangible. Commissioner Davis says he counts the BFED program as a success. The Baltimore Police Partnership with federal investigators was put in place this past summer. He also said in the meeting that the department is focused on better community relations and increased foot patrols throughout the city. And the eyes of the entire world are, are on our city to see if we can rebound, to see if we can make a comeback. And so after that meeting in Pigtown, uh, Davis went on to another community meeting in Waverly. There have been 322 murders in Baltimore this year. The highest number recorded was 353 back in 1993. We're live at police headquarters tonight. Kai Reed, WBAL TV 11 News.